sisters and brothers. Welcome to the 56th Amalgamated Transit Union Convention. As day one of the 2010 convention got underway, delegates were treated to some musical selections by the Walt Disney World Marching Band. And Dean Daniels, son of a Chicago ATU member, played a song he wrote about our union. Out at ATU. After the national anthems and posting of the colors, international president Ron Heintzman took the gavel and delivered the keynote address. He said that despite organizing gains since the last convention, the ATU faces challenges from underfunded transit and infrastructure and from systems that contract jobs out. Situations that will only get worse if this year's congressional elections return Republicans to power. If John Boehner becomes Speaker of the House, or if Mitch McConnell becomes Majority Leader of the Senate, we're not going to see permanent operating assistance for mass transit, period. Forget federal funding for transit. We're not going to get any help from Congress when employers break the law and violate our rights. We can't afford to let that happen. After recounting a pattern of Teamster raids on our membership, President Heitzman described how the ATU plans to respond. I want our members to be able to say, I don't want another union because I've already got the best damn union, the ATU. Yeah. If the Teamsters or if any other unions raid us, sometime in the future. Win or lose, we are going to go after them. We cannot sit idly by and be picked off one by one by one. We will fight back and we will go after them. They might be larger, but we're a hell of a lot stronger. Continuing on the theme that elections matter, Transportation Trades Department Chairman Ed Whitkind said ATU members must reach out to the general public to show them that issues affecting our members really affect everyone. They need to know we're not just fighting for ourselves. We're fighting for safe transit systems. We're fighting for skilled workplaces and workers. We're fighting to shorten the American people's commutes, clean their air, spare another city of the horror of the Minneapolis Bridge collapse. This isn't our fight. This is their fight. And they need to understand that. That is up to you and us as a labor movement to make sure that our fight is their fight. And we have to continue to go forward that way. Orlando's Democratic Congressman Alan Grayson recounted decades of labor struggle and sacrifice to achieve the right to form a union. Then he posed a challenge. Now, when you go home from Orlando, I ask you one thing. I ask you to tell your children what I just said. Because as I said before, they will not teach this in the public schools. So the only way that our children can find out about the proud history of the labor movement is for you and me to tell them. And also to tell them these seven words, seven words that we must never forget. The people united will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated. Are you with me? Clayola Brown, the national president of the A. Philip Randolph Institute, praised the ATU for its support and contributions to the mission of the Institute. But she also issued a challenge of her own. If you are not voting in November, you are in the wrong room right now. If you are not working for a strong country, you are in the wrong room right now. If you are not in the fight and the struggle for a good, solid leadership, you are in the wrong room right now. ATU has a proud history and a wonderful legacy for fighting for working people. In passionate terms, AFL-CIO President Richard Trumka said that all of organized labor is in for a fight, a fight with greedy corporations and with right-wing pundits to determine whether American voters will be motivated by fear or by fairness and a desire to rebuild the middle class. 
We're looking at opponents who worship at an extreme, extreme ideology. But this is no time to turn back to the agenda that nearly created economic Armageddon in our country. That's why my message to the hand ringers and the naysayers and the detractors and the party of no is, if you don't believe in America, get the hell out of the way because we're going to get this country back on track and we're going to rebuild the middle class with good jobs. After seven local unions were recognized with a Jay Sweeney Award for major achievements in organizing, the convention paid tribute to the recently retired international president emeritus, Warren George. And if you ever have a picket line anywhere in this country or anywhere in Canada, and you need an old guy to come up and relieve you and stand aside, if I'm able to get there, I'll be standing right beside you. I don't give a damn if the snow's high up. Nine feet tall. I'm labor. If you cut me, I'll bleed ATU. I'll always bleed ATU. God bless you. Thank you very much. God love you. ATU's partner in Romania, USLM President Ion Radoi, used a prop to express solidarity with our union. We have a saying. In fața celor care te respectă, și respect și te ajută. Those who respect you and who help you and support you. Scoți pălăria. You take your head down. Permiteți să o în Allow me to do this in front of you. In a final order of business, delegates adopted the convention rules while voting to release all delegates involved in committee meetings at the time any vote is to be taken on the convention floor. Up today, Barbara Byers of the Canadian Labor Congress American Public Transportation Association President William Miller and President Cecil Roberts of the United Mine Workers. Day two starts now.